Thanks for watching. Today we're going to be building a fishing rod holder for the roof rack of my truck and all these supplies cost less than $50. If you've uh, priced out some of the roof rack holders for some of the bigger companies you know that you can spend $500, a minimum $500 up to over $1,000 just to store your fishing rods on the roof rack of your vehicle. All the supplies here I purchased at uh, Home Depot and actually I got this box from Canadian Tire for less than $50. And really the only two I'm going to need is my drill. And uh, this is it, ABS pipe, inch and a half is what we're going to use for the rod tubes. I'm going to be making a dual rod holder. And you can be as um, creative as you want. I mean, I'd simply purchase this because I really just want uh, two rods to, uh, to have on my roof rack. You could buy a bigger uh, ammunition case and, and do four or whatever you want, but I'm just going to be doing two in this video. And the ABS pipe that I'm using is inch and a half, and I got 10 foot lengths of it. This is just a small section to show you what, a, what I'm gonna be doing. So basically I have two sections of this inch and a half lengths, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use ABS fittings. I'm gonna put a end cap on each one. That'll be at the front of the rod holder. And then what I'm gonna be using to actually store the reels and open it up is this Plano field box, which is intended for uh, storing ammunition, keeping it dry out in the field. What I like about it is the perfect size to hold a couple of fly reels. Again, if you wanted to use a fishing rod and um, spin casters or whatever uh, reels you wanted to fit in here, you just buy a bigger um, field box, right? And uh, what I like about this is it's, it's water resistant. It's not waterproof, but for my needs, it's all I need. And then it has a nice secure clasp on there, and it also has a little locking ring, so I can put a little padlock on there. So when I'm away from my truck and my fly lines are in there, um, you know, I can uh, keep it somewhat secure anyways. The biggest thing about my design compared to some of the other ones that I've seen, because I went on YouTube and looked, um, is how they attach to the actual storage box. And what makes mine really secure is that basically we're going to cut some holes in the bottom of the field box, but the field box is going to be sandwiched between these two fittings. So I'm going to cut a hole in the fuel box this diameter. I'm going to put this through here and the ABS pipe is going to screw onto there and the gap between it, we're going to cinch that down and that's going to hold the box in place. And then the beauty of that is it won't be glued. So if I ever want to switch tubes, um, for some reason, if I get some new uh, rods and I need a 10 foot or I buy an 11 foot rod, I can always add a, a longer tube onto it. So I'm going to show you how I attach it to the roof rack. I'll show you the entire process in this video, and I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. If you uh, do, please give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I'm making videos and adventure videos all the time. So here we go.
Okay, so that was pretty simple. Basically, all I did was drill two holes using my, this drill bit here. I drew two holes in the bottom of the plastic Plano storage container. And all I did was basically sandwich the bottom between the male and female ABS couplers. And they are in there rock solid. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to glue the 10 foot sections of ABS pipe to the end of here. And then we'll put the caps on the ends of the pipe and then we'll attach them to the roof rack of my truck. And then to give you an idea, to give you an idea how the rods will go in there, it will be like this on the truck. I'll be able to open it up. I'll be able to slide my rod. Let's see here if you can see this. Be able to slide the rod in there and the reel will sit nicely. I'm gonna put some padding on the bottom of the box and then I will lock this up, secure it, put a little padlock there, and Bob's your uncle.